Praise the Lord. I'm Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, and we're back. I have with me a friend, Stanley Brown, who has been very active in the music industry at a and r and doing a lot of great things. He was one of the first individuals I gave the manuscript to and said, you know, because I like to test things out there and say, how you feel about this? Stanley, you've done a lot in the music industry. You've been, you had your foot in the church and in the world. He was responsible for integrating um, R&B and rap. As a matter of fact, you um, was part of that when song pause that you for that run dmc had did at the time what did you think about this book cosmic economics cosmic economics is life-changing you know it, it is stated that if you if you if you give a man a fish you feed him for a day but if you teach him how to fish you feed him for a lifetime and cosmic economics is something that changes the mind and if you can change your mind then you can change your circumstances Exactly. You know, now when you look at the mind, and I mean, we got um, so many principles here that's dealing with the mind. I, I, well, <laughs> I turn to this one here on, on cosmic principle number 12 says you should not disciple the poor. And a lot of times people get very offended about that. What do you mean you can't disciple the poor? Because poor people are not discipleship material. Now, before you turn your television off, hold off there for a moment. But when we deal with poor, we're dealing with poverty consciousness. Yes. When you have a poor mind, you become a needy individual. Um, Stanley, what would you say about that? Well, understanding, reading your, 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 uh, the books and um, reading your, your principles, I understood that Jesus never discipled the poor. He discipled the rich. That's right. And we see that very clearly when Peter began to say, who then can be saved when he said that it's easier for rich a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter into heaven who then can be saved which means that all of the disciples were rich now we preach the gospel to the poor but we disciple the rich cosmic economics is not for everyone it's only for thinking minds when you start to begin to look at this book here We've got worry as the negative side of meditation. Um, page 53 here, Stanley, I like uh, Cosmic Principle 31, which I find is very interesting, and we're going to get these materials into your hands. Um, read that there for me. Your, your subconscious self reproduces according to what it sees with the eye of the mind. Wow. So that means that whatever you see from within, you got to see your way through it. And we've seen that God has blessed you. You've done things. I mean, you shouldn't even be able to do what you do today. Yes. But you've only been able to do it because you have a mind for it. Yes. And you don't see failure. Not at all. You see success. Yes. You see prosperity. You see abundance. Yes. And so we want you to know that greatness is about to happen to you cosmic economics do you find that many people are thinking like this in the church I think the church is in transition um, but I believe uh, we have to get away from tradition and where everybody's running to conferences where you know we need to just read cosmic economics understand that if you can read it and you can achieve it and believe it you know it'll manifest itself but I think the days of running to conferences, you know, it's stated that if you want to hide information from somebody, put it in a book. <laughs> All right. So if we can do more reading and studying the scriptures and, and, and readings like Cosmic Economics, I believe it will be life changing. And I think it will impact the body of Christ at large. Amen. And so we want you to know your impact is here. Stay tuned for this announcement. And we want you to go to the website, www.bishopjordan.com, and get your free prophetic word. Stanley, has, have you seen the prophetic in action here? Yes. You know, it's, it's one thing to hear about something, but it's another thing to actually see. When you have living examples before you, like I watched Reverend Run uh, in the earlier stages of coming to Zoe Ministries, and I saw the transition. Mm -hmm. I saw him going from a popular uh, a legend in the industry, but not, make, not really uh, obtaining the wealth. And I've watched him transition after actually believing it and then applying it, the icon of today. And you talk about after 20 something years later. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. And I want you to go right now to the website and we're going to continue this telecast in our next telecast. <laughs> 